welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to share with you my current skincare favorites. Now, my skin has, especially in this past like two months, has been the best it's ever been in a really, 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 really long time. I can't remember the last time that my skin like felt and looked as hydrated and as good as it has now. Um, I've mentioned a few times before that I deal with some hyperpigmentation, fine lines, I'm a little bit of discoloration on my face as well as under eye discoloration and, and bags and circles and everything that you get when you're a little bit older. <laughs> Yay! Anyway, some of the products I've mentioned in past favorites and hauls and vlogs and stuff, but I thought I would just pull them all together and just make one video and just let you know about all of them because they are all so, so amazing. So let's jump right into it. The first product I want to mention is the Nip and Fab Glycolic Fix Serum. I got this in an Ipsy bag about two months ago and it has done wonders for reducing the pore size on my face. I don't know if it's the high concentration of glycolic acid in it, but wow, it just tightens up my pores. It just makes my face look so smooth and like, like baby skin, it's, it's so amazing. And so I would definitely highly recommend this if you want to improve the look and the texture of your skin and if you have an issue with large pores because yeah, this more than anything has really helped in detexturizing my skin here and also tightening up the pores, really, really great. Okay, hydration. Hydration is key and for me at least, that was what was kind of causing a lot of the dullness, the sallowness I think it's called, um, some of the fine lines. Once I started using hyaluronic acid and once I started finding very hydrating products, I found that a lot of those issues went away. And the first product that I absolutely love is the Tidal Enzyme Water Cream by Sunday Riley. Now this stuff is amazing, amazing. It has hyaluronic acid in it. It has other enzymes and other like really great all natural products. But I found that this moisturizing cream has done wonders in keeping my skin so moisturized, so hydrated, and just very plump um, in a very healthy way. The cream itself is a gel cream. I don't know, I've like literally almost used all of this. This is my second like smaller size. What's nice is that with this title moisturizer, they make like small little travel size ones. So if you are looking to try it but you don't wanna invest in the big tub, you can get a little one like this. And yeah. Just so great and like completely moisturizing my face, keeping it like so dewy and glowy, but like not in an oily, gross way. So if you have dry skin and you're suffering with fine lines as a result, I would highly recommend the Tidal Moisturizer. Now the Tidal Moisturizer doesn't have an SPF in it. So to um, incorporate SPF into my skincare routine, I've been using the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch Sunscreen. This one looks like it's been through battle. It looks pretty worse for the wear, but it's a good SPF. Now here's the thing. It definitely has that SPF sunscreen smell to it. It definitely can go on a little thick. So I only use a small amount, but I refuse not to use um, a sunscreen. I refuse not to use an SPF. I don't find that this undoes any of the other, like the benefits of any of the other skincare products that I've been using. And this doesn't break me out. It doesn't like, you know, it does what it needs to do. Like it's a great sunscreen. So if you're looking for a good sun sunscreen at the drugstore that's not gonna cost an arm and a leg, I would check out this one by Neutrogena. Going back to Sunday Riley. Now the Artemis oil, I got this for Christmas. I've talked about it before. It's the Hydroactive Cellular Face, face Oil. It's a very, very thick oil. So, I mean, if you don't like the smell of like an all natural food store, you might hate the smell of this. But once you can get past the smell, I think that the product itself is so, so worth it. It's so hydrating. It really does help balance your complexion and brighten up your skin, um, which I think is amazing. It's such a beautiful little jar. I keep it in the little case because I don't want the oil to get everywhere because it is really thick. But I would highly recommend this if you were if you are suffering from dehydrated skin and if you are looking to just like brighten up your complexion, I think that this oil is a really, really great option. Um, I love Sunday Riley oils and like all their stuff I think is amazing. Um, and then my favorite, favorite face mask has been the Glam Glow Hydrating Mud Mask. I've talked about this a million times. I finally like took the dive and bought the full size. I think that this hydrating mask is just amazing. Like I didn't realize that hydration was my problem 
problem until I used this mask. And I, you know, it's funny, I had a facial and my facialist was like, your skin is really dehydrated. And still, like, I, I still like wasn't convinced enough. It wasn't until I used this mask that I was like, whoa, okay. Like, first of all, this is amazing. My skin needed this and it's just brilliant. It does such a beautiful job of hydrating your skin and as a result, like all of your fine lines get plumped up, like your skin just looks so healthy, like glowy and bouncy and just amazing. So I would highly, highly recommend this mask. I love Glam Glow. I think all their masks are amazing. So in terms of um, routine and what I do and what I use. So during the day, I'll always start with my Tidal Moisturizer. I'll put this all over my skin and then on top of that, I will layer my Neutrogena um, sunscreen. So because again, this doesn't have a sunscreen, I like to pair it with this and I find that that is the perfect balance for the entire day, keeps my skin super hydrated. Then at night, after I washed my face, I use my um, Tatcha cleansing oil if I have um, makeup on and if I don't have makeup on I'll just sort of switch it up in terms of like what I'm using to wash my face I'm not super fussy with that, but I try not to get too I try not to over complicate it because I don't want my skin to feel like it's you know like it's having to deal with new products every single day. So then, once I've like once I'm done and I've cleaned my face, I oh I'm sorry I use my um, Bioderma. Um, sensitive skin micellar water to just like really kind of deep clean my face and that's what I'll use as well if I'm not if I don't have a ton of makeup on or if I don't have any makeup on I'll just use that like quickly all over my face and then I will either I go back and forth so some nights I'll use the nip and fab glycolic fix serum um, and I'll just use this with some title moisturizer and I'll go to bed or I'll just use the Artemis oil so I kind of go back and forth between these two so maybe like two, three times a week I'll use my Artemis oil and then the other nights I'll use the Glycolic Fix Serum. And that's just because I feel like with the Artemis oil it's better for my sheets. <laughs> it doesn't stain or anything, but you know, of course like oil gets everywhere. And so I think it's better for, like, for my sheets on my bed, but also like for my skin, like to take a little bit of break from the hydration, like to just kind of switch it off. And I find that my skin really likes that, like like sort of switching off from these two products because then my skin doesn't get used to the um, ingredients and doesn't get used to the products. Um, and I found that that really, really helps. So guys, those are my current skincare favorites. Definitely leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you've ever tried any of these products or if you're thinking of trying them. Again, I highly, highly recommend them and they've kept my skin super clear and like super hydrated, so I'm all about it. Don't forget to subscribe, share this video with your friends. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon.